you produce two children, two offsprings after that? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I'm like Jay Z. What more can I say? What can I do? What can you do? What because can I do? I guarantee you, them same chick that do went upside his head, they tried to help, and then you'd be like, she'd be like, nah, 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 you know, father my kids and all that shit. You just go, all right, okay. If you want your kids to be orphan aunties out this motherfucker, by all means. What about on Facebook? Uh, when I see the when I see the people in person, I just be like, are you okay? Uh, one dude, like, are, are you still homeless? <laughs> It's no. sad when somebody be like, "Hey, I'm looking for a place to stay. Can y'all help me out?" It's 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 funny. Damn. Yeah, no, it this is funny to me. The chicks that look real bad on Facebook or Instagram, and then you see them in person, you go, "Really? You just go?" Oh, those filters ain't those do filters shit. Ain't, no, yeah, it's like no, no, the filters are a lot. The social media are the they are the digital surgeons of today. I'm here to tell you. You ain't even got to go get plastic surgery anymore. This is what you got to do. All you got to do is do this. Swipe left, swipe right. You get a filter. You can be looking. You be like, your skin don't look that clear. All right. Or they be posting the pictures with their guy, and then all of a sudden the pictures be gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, what? Well, is everything okay in, in the kingdom? Yeah. I, I, thought, I, thought I thought it was all gold and, and doves and, and shit over there. Later, I thought okay. you was in uh, Aruba with, with him. What happened to that? <laughs> Or the ones the my, my, that? my favorite is the ones where they they have pictures of them thirty pounds ago. I look at the bottom. The first thing I look at is the year, De- De- December twenty seventh. De- yeah, now December of two thousand fifteen. I'm like, oh, for real? Word, word. That's how we going. Mm. Those be the best ones because then I go, no, 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 I need an updated picture. <laughs> Updated pic. Next thing you know, their jawline is down here now. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you know when a woman cut their hair. We, I, oh, they going through something. This chick posted something recently. And she she said something about I got a new haircut uh, to help me go through something or a new process. I wanted to call her like, "Yo, are you all right?" I tried. I, I called her. She, it worked. When somebody on Facebook and they asking for help, I called them. <laughs> I said, "I said, is everything okay? Are you all right?" Instead of them cutting their hair, how about they cut the bullshit? Just cut get, the bullshit. Cut the bullshit and get to to the root of the problem personally and handle it thyself. That's the problem with everybody right now. Everybody want to. Uh, you know, toss the the blame bucket to somebody else. No, hold yourself accountable for whatever it is and let it go. You know mm. what I'm saying? Rebuild and regroup and build on yourself. Cut them motherfuckers off. I think a lot of people just scared to cut people off. Like like there's a post today I put. I feel bad for people who gotta stay in a group, man, of people <laughs> that perpetuate the bullshit. It's just like, do y'all really wanna you really wanna stay there with a bunch of people that tell you what you want to hear instead of what you need to hear? That ain't cool. We tell we tell each other what we need to hear. Just like, well, you need to stop doing that on the on line on on air, but whatever. But you know, you gotta tell somebody what they need to hear, y'all. Not what they want to hear out there. There's too many people out here. Well, you ain't got nobody to call on. Who you gonna call on? If you, got, if you really got issues out there, like we know, especially black people, we know we got issues. You gotta come out there with that person who 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 tells you things out of love. Might not be what you want to hear. Like I said, but what you need to hear now. For the people who have to be crack, who have to be blunt, that don't mean you be an asshole. That don't mean you be right and badger that person. If they made a mistake, they made a mistake. You're there to help them get through it, not chastise them. Right, man. All right, y'all. Y'all got that. So no more, no more Facebook. Yeah, no more personal. I don't want. I don't want to be in my entertainment no more. I don't want to be. I don't, y'all. Breaking up, don't want to be on my mind. Yeah, because if you do that, you put it on yourself, and I got to use it. I got to use it as material, so. We using that shit for the show. We using it for material. Okay. That's entertainment. All right. And and if you think we're bad, there are people out there who are worse that's doing it that probably know you. Mm. So, those those that are that best friend that know everything talking all that shit that know they give you so if you think everybody. we're bad we're, we're not even mentioning your name they're mentioning right. your names on the streets right like, like Deborah is so stupid anyway facts Deborah's stupid like Deborah's getting what she deserves I don't feel bad speaking of Deborah you see Deborah getting her uh, chest signed by Trump man okay I haven't I know you're gonna be like that's the president. He that's that's Trump. He gonna do what he do. But yes. have you seen what he did recently with the Hispanics? <laughs> First of all, I thought to uh, according to Trump that Mexicans yeah. are rapists and uh, they they carry diseases. But yeah. now he's in North Mexico get try and get their vote and shit. I mean, yeah, you already know what it is. Like, do I really have to explain? The man is, you know, that's that's politics. They'll talk about you one minute and then love you the next. It is what it is. I don't care anymore. 
Trump's severe gives you yeah, yeah. Nyquil, yeah. Trump's Trump severe gives you gives you, gives you everything. But yeah, like I'm not surprised. I'm really not. That's just who he is. That's just politics. You play the game. And then I feel, and then I have feel a certain way about the Hispanics. That was I, I'm, we're gonna show y'all the clip of him talking about how the the guy. Do you love Mexicans or do you love you love Latinos or do you love United States? He's he's some he's on some bullshit. But look 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 at these people in the back. They are just buffoons. All right. Well, let's see what he said. Yeah, let's see what, what the what two pay He happens has to, to say. be Hispanic. He happens to be Hispanic, but I've never quite figured it out. What? Because he looks more like a wasp than I do. Huh? So I haven't figured that one out. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, look, even YouTube wants to pause that. They're like, I can't believe he said that. We got to buffer that. <laughs> There's what? nobody that loves this country more or Hispanic more than Steve Cortez. Steve. I don't know who Steve Cortez is. is. Nobody loves the Hispanics more. Who do you like more, the country or the Hispanics? <laughs> he says, the country? I don't know. I. Uh. I, I may have to go for the Hispanics, to be honest with you. We got a lot of Hispanics. We love our Hispanics. Get up. And you can see these people are, are used, are getting used for, you can tell that they paid. Oh, when, whenever, whenever I see, we gonna pause this You shit. know, just before the last election, the... Whenever I see a Spanish person Cubans or a black Trump we got supporter, a I just feel like they want it's either that they are begging for attention or they're looking for a check. Mm -hmm. One of those because or they could be legit sheep. They just don't know any better. They're just being well. That's true. And, and Trump does have a lot of he's I, I, he has like a good amount of Latino support for some yeah. reason. Yeah, I don't know why they. I guess because the uh, life. They abortion or they're they're pro it. I mean it's pro life. It's just, yeah, they're just doing what they have to do to sustain this country, first of all. And second, you know, you just like I said, people there are a lot of people in this in America that are easily swindled by words, no matter who it is. As long as it looks like they uh you know, have perceived power, you're gonna go with it. So everybody there's a lot of people in this country that don't don't know how to think for themselves and that's sad, but it is what it is. The way it's the way it looks. Yeah, America. Trump just I, hey, I feel like the Latino vote is up in the air because some of them, especially in Florida, they are hardcore Trump supporters. So I don't know how that's going to work. So, uh, all right. Speaking of people that just will do anything for money, let's go to Candace Owens. <laughs> she and she's one of those Trump supporters, one of those sheep. I'm not even calling her sheep. I think she's doing it for the money. To be honest, I don't with know you. what she's doing it for honestly. because. Why you why you don't say that? Why you say that? I just don't know. Like I want to I want to know why. Huh? Like it's one of those things where you just look at people like why? Are you trying to be different? You know that one person that just don't like whatever and they don't go with the flow, even though it is nice. Yeah, that's that's how it is now. A lot of Trump supporters are fucking trolls. They just want to they want to disagree with you just to be yeah, just, noticed. Yeah, just to be noticed. So, exactly. So, uh, so uh, if y'all don't know who Candace Owens is, she's a pro. Trump, she's pro Trump. She even has good things to say about I'm Hitler. Right and but she was doing this thing with TI. I don't know if you heard it. He went in on her ass. He went in on her ass. He went in on her ass. As he should. And, but the question that he asked was legit. I was like, I was impressed. T.I. did a very good job. Question. Which era is it? Which era was no, it? Like, no, but she, she so made a comment about you, making America thing, guys, great okay. again. America and that was, was a brilliant one question. One he said, what era? What era? He was like, All when was world. America great? When women couldn't vote? When there was the civil rights era? Like, what are you trying? And I love how he said the word replicate. Because people don't realize that's a deep word. Mm. Because that's what Trump is trying to replicate. He's trying to replicate the old days where white Americans had it. 
So that's why I love with the, the, the question that T.I. answered because you see she had no real answer. And then she went with some bullshit about slavery was everywhere. And, and that's like, what? That wasn't even a part of it. That wasn't a question. And she was going to say how slavery was, uh, the United States was one of the first places to abolish slavery, which that which that was a lie. Yes, yeah, bullshit. Like, like, we don't, like, you can't go to history. Like, I hate when people say certain things. You go, like, I can't Google that right now. <laughs> like, especially in today's society. You mean, tell me. Well, like, she's so used to being in all white crowds. She has, she's not used to somebody checking her the she's way T.I. She's not used to someone of T.I.'s, per, like, like perception. When she saw T.I., she probably perceived him as an ex-crack dealer who was just trying to look cool or, you know, he don't know no better. But... That stunned her because you see, she was just like, "Well, you, you're not letting me finish yet because he said it was some bullshit." Was some and bullshit. that's what and people, that's what she is. She people were saying that uh, people were too that Ti was too hard on her. He was not. Like he wasn't giving her. He a was chance not. To, he wasn't because and the, she shouldn't even be on the stage. If she would have had real answers, she would have been able to trump everything. Oh, let that sink in. That's all pun intended. Right. She would have been able to trump that shit, but she couldn't. Because that's a real life question. That's why I, when people I know who vote for Trump, I go, okay, you you just wanted racism to exist because he asked a real question that that is resonating to today. When was America great for everyone, not just for white people? You can't. America's not even great for black people of, or people of color now. Right. So he was just saying, I love when people say that he was asking a real question, like, "What time are you talking about? What made <laughs> what America? Time? What made America? Which so era funny? was it?" And, he, and the thing is, when he said the women vote, I thought that was genius because he's looking at her like, "Yo, exactly. you wouldn't have had no rights." Exactly. When America was so called great, so what are you talking about? That's the beautiful thing about history. Black people, we are one of the, we, if not, we are the most educated people when it comes to that because we know our stuff. We know our shit. We, we know, gotta know our history. We, we a lot have of people to know don't that. know their history. They don't. And we know it. So that when they say those things, it, it offends us because we go, all right, you acting like that. Black people had it. Black people just started catching a break maybe in the late 80s and that's because they knew they could make money off of us. Mm. Shit. That's the reason. They didn't. So well, it's I, not like America actually, love us. They tolerate us. I only agree with Candace when she was talking about how immigration can affect black people. She does have a point with that. But besides that... Immigration point, can affect everyone, not just black people. No, a, a lot of immigration affects labor because black people, we were the labor so long. But at the same time... Since, yeah. And but, since... But that's a whole nother argument. There's not no whole... It's the same... It is, it's no, immigration. It's not, it's not even that because there are certain jobs that black people feel like that is beneath them now. Like okay. Like fast food and stuff. Okay. Did but, I tell you about the... the, the remember that chicken uh, facility... In Texas, they got raided yeah. with ICE. The people there were Spanish, right? Yeah. Before that, it was black people. They were they were trying to get twenty dollars an hour, but the but the company they cut them out and, and then they, they hired. The Spanish people. Yeah, but so but you can't get mad at Spanish people for that. I'm that's, not mad at the Spanish people. Oh, I know. I'm just, just saying, saying that's she's white, right, right. When it comes to immigration, yeah. But at the same time, what she forgets is who is who's allowing this? It ain't us. So they can say all they want. But that's her people allowing that. Okay. So it's like, so instead of telling that to Ti, why ain't you make, uh, having that same energy and mention it to your people, your cabinet, your your party of Republicans or whoever she's a part of? It's like, why are you not saying that to them? You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, why are you throwing that in Ti's face? What? No. If anything, you're helping his argument. Mm. So that's my thing. I love the fact that he asked her a real question that she had no answer to. She didn't because she couldn't. Like historically, she would have been inaccurate. Anything if she just said anything else. The man said, "When was it good for everybody? Right. Not just right. not just a certain right. group." And T.I. was really said, "Look, what year in America was it good for everyone?" And you can't even say like a lot of times American like white systematic oppression and racism in the system. They teach you to. They'll teach you to see a little bit that happened, but then they'll say, all right, that was long ago. We're right. Over or it in now. the history books. They yeah, were in the history books. We're, it's more so we're over it. We're over that now. It's like, right. are you really, though? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Is you? Is you, is you really? Ah. So, Candace Owens, shut the hell up. You should have just sat down, sat out of this one. She's a rat. She's a rat. <laughs> Speaking of other rats that's singing today, everywhere I'm seeing this. Your, your boy. That ain't my boy. I've never listened to that nigga a day in huh? my life. 
Your boy I uh, Takashi six nine. Hey, my boy, don't don't mention me with him. He'll snitch on me in the next minute. Remember, he he says, who's he snitching on? He can, said, can you tell us? He said, can, can, can you give him an update? He on, said, on who's snitching? He said, Jim Jones and uh, Cardi B are a part of the Trey Bloods, and everybody, basically everybody. So you know, he he mentioned this talk. So talk oh, it, it, it's, it's talk. Oh, uh, it's talk. It's, it's part, part of the uh, Trey Bloods, uh, man. Trey Bloods. That's crazy, man. That's brazy. Right, you know. That's brazy. That's brazy. That's brazy. Like, I, you know, I do wear red a lot, but good God. I got to change it now. I got to wear clear. Shit. Shit. Yeah, that mof- he is telling on everybody. I know those rappers who thought he was good or they collaborating with him or right now like, why did I do this? Bro, I was hoping this day wouldn't come when I knew Mel Matrix had some ties with Takashi six nine. If y'all don't know who Mel Matrix is, he's he was part of Jim Jones' side group, which is called Bird Gang. But they have Jim Jones on tape saying that they need to whack six nine because he he violated. They, uh, Mel Matrix. He can't set foot in New York. I don't know what he could do. I don't give a fuck what he could do. You know what I mean? Like that's not my job. If he did step foot in there, they probably should stay far away from him. You did? I mean, we, I grew up in the area. I grew up in the area where certain things that you, you you cannot come back from. There's no fixing that. You did? So, you, know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're a rat. You're a rat forever. Woo! I mean, that's just, that's, 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 I mean, that's just real everywhere. If you're a rat, you are a rat forever. There's no coming back from that. Takashi 69 called Shim Jones a washed up rapper. Damn! No, no he's a retired rapper. Well, he's a washed up, retired. He said retired. I heard retired. And rapper. Jay Prince, a fake wannabe mafia boss. Woo! And he's a snitch though, so who cares? God damn. I'm figuring out, like, how did they get so much, like, the court stuff so fast? Like, when they want to take people down, it don't take that long. Why is it so... But And how do we know everything he's saying is accurate, though, he, too? Like, if I'm the defense attorney, discredit him. I think he got the, the diamond from the Titanic, too. Somebody, he know who got the Titanic. <laughs> the Purple Heart. The Purple Heart. And he snitched on uh, Little Red or Cr- he's Trippy sni- Red. He's snitching on everybody. I told you he snitched on Red Clifford. He, he's he, a dog. He, he, oh, damn. You know, he said he was I thought he was dead. I'm telling you, Takashi is snitching on everybody, but are y'all surprised? Like, this is really, honestly. Da- me, damn, Daniel. Oh, like, damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. No, like, honestly, this is not a good look for everybody. It's not New a good York, look. But, like, it's just it's like, not a good yo. look on New York. Yeah, on New York's part, it's like, yo. Mm-hmm. I know New York is not like that. I know all y'all ain't like that, but yo, y'all gotta shut him down, done. Like that's just it's, it's not looking good. Like that's bad. Like, but once again, though, it's not even just about New York. It's everybody snitches. Like, look at shitty cuz in the West. So a snitch from any region is just a snitch. Right. They do whatever they can to save their own ass, and they don't really live by the code. And that's what's frustrating. Well, it's unfortunate that people allow outsiders in their circle. Yeah, I mean and that's the downfall. Of all groups, Black Panthers, yeah. allowing white people, Asian people to be part of their shit. But he should not have been part of that group. He should not have been accepted. He got in paid the off. He should not have been accepted in the music either way because his music is not good. Like, I've heard a few of his songs. I'm like, this is it? This is the same old shit. Like, really? Are you serious? We got lo- We have local DMV artists that are 10 times better of an artist than he is. So it was just hype. In my opinion, so whatever. He's nah, getting what he, he deserves he now. Did, he didn't snitch on Fifty Cent though. I thought Fifty Cent was his dad or something. No, I don't know what it. I don't know what the hell it is. I hope. I just want him to go away. I would hope he. I wish you know. Nah, bro. He ain't going up. away. And then he, he mentioned Cardi B. Out of all the people, I'm like, damn. Huh? He mentioned Cardi B was a part of the gang. This nigga is telling on everybody. I just don't understand, but. It is what it is in that aspect, you know, whatever. I hope those people got good lawyers and they, you know, clear their name and all that shit. But besides that, whatever. When he get out, he's going to be bigger than probably. Nah, he's going to be hiding. Nah, bruh. He going to get that interview on The Breakfast Club Mm-mm. and he going to get a book deal even though he can't read. <laughs> Look, like right now, he's a dead man walking. As of right now, like, you know. In all aspects, he's a dead man walking. Like he can't do anything. Like when he, if if it all goes well, he's gonna have to be in hiding for the rest of his life. Because just think he about gonna be it. like uh, Henry. Yeah. Well, just think about it like this. Everybody he's mentioning, you know, you don't know those people. They might have those legit street connections, and they can find him anywhere. So, 
you know, that's why to me, snitching is not an option. I mean, if you're going to do the crime, just do it. And if you get caught, that's your fault. That's your fault. But, obviously, 90% of people in the game can't live like that. They don't want to. So, all right, chunk, hopefully, chunk it up. If, he, if we can find out what happened to uh, Laura or the chick from Family Family Matters. <laughs> uh, the chick that went upstairs. If we, if we find out what happened to her. <laughs> exactly. If he snitched, let us know. Exactly. We cut off some time for him, too. <laughs> Before we go to uh, DMV News, I just want to say, make sure you guys go check out uh, Tina's Wings. And make sure you guys go give us a like and give us a heart and all that good stuff. Yes, uh, and hit that like button. And the bet, most important thing, the subscribe button. It's free. If you like us, do it. If you it's disagree free. with us, do it. If you're trolling, do it. It's free. Just hit the, yeah, it's just hit that. All you got to do is go. That's it. That's right. That's all you got to do. All right. It's Talk News. Hey, this is. I'm gonna say this is personal for me because I was in that traffic when a motherfucker. Don't say that. Somebody. No, we're happy that that person's okay. What? We're happy that that person's okay. Nah, because they fucked up my commute. Okay. Hey, I'll be damned if I'm gonna listen to 90.9 for three more hours. You dig? Okay, get off your fucking phone. AJ, you want to read the story? I'll read it. Shit. You wildin'. All right. Uh, Centerville Road. Hold on. Centerville crews worked into the night to take down a sign over the eastbound lanes on Interstate 66 uh, near Route 28 in Centerville following a single vehicle crash Wednesday afternoon. When a state trooper pulled up behind a car, police said he activated his patrol vehicle's lights and signs into initiated traffic stop but the toyota on a uh, driver the toyota driver refused to stop and eventually was forced to stop in the travel lane Woo. oh man good god all right the yeah so the video shows the man falling on the track oh, no, no. Hold up. eventually, eventually the, the trooper and the driver, the driver. Ooh, arrested the driver Ooh, the driver has been identified as jordan l galladay you think he's black or white but nasa now he's spanish he's spanish he's spanish uh and they have been charged with dui and driving on a suspended license Ooh, he got fucked up on a wednesday yeah nah i take that back that's a nigga that's probably one of ours that's one of us that's one of us damn ouch and he's probably on his way to get some ass yeah, uh, no, no. Actually, uh, he was in the car with with a chick. Uh, meanwhile, the driver. Oh, he could have been dropping her off. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he, he was. Meanwhile, the driver of the Kia, identified as Andrea Nunez of Manassas, was treated at the scene with minor injuries. The cause of the of her crash remains under investigations. So wait, what? Why did it? Look, we don't know. We don't know. Meanwhile, the driver. Look, it's just that's just DMV news. It's DMV life, baby. <laughs> DMV life, baby. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Hey, y'all. I just want to let y'all know if y'all if y'all can't handle, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I sometimes I be texting. I be look. I got sometimes I got to send that tweet. Okay, but if y'all can't handle the shit, just stay. Get it. off it. Yeah, keep your eyes on the road, please. Get off it. Don't be the reason why I got to get up at. Four in the morning because you you motherfuckers don't know how to drive and then we get on the road at six thirty and I don't get to my job my job's at eight but I don't get there until like seven fifty eight. You ever you ever hate when you try to run there at the last minute and clock in at the that clock in never do it, it just buffers. It just circles. One minute five please. more minutes not responding. Again. So please don't you put me through that. Right. And I right. can't even have a breakfast either. I can't yeah, eat nothing. I need a breakfast yeah. I need, I need oatmeal. I need my oatmeal. Like I gotta have something I gotta have something to mentally prepare me. Mentally and then hit my stomach. But if I go in there and hit my stomach, be mad. You don't want to be that that car that the person on the radio is talking about. There's a car breakdown on the on the right, right, right. In, the, in, yeah. in, the, in the inner loop. The Bust, busted ass hoop you on know, not I you show the smoke. Exactly. People were driving by going. <laughs> that ever happened to you? Uh, you yeah. ever been? You ever yes. Been when, I, when I had my Buick, I was in the middle of the, of the road. Shit. And like it finally started like after like eight minutes. And I was able to get it over to the side, and it still stopped. You talking about embarrassed? Like, mm -mm. embarrassed, embarrassed. Damn, tough stuff. Tough in stuff. the middle of this, in the middle of the damn highway. In the middle of the highway. And thank God it was like only like two. Because imagine it doing that like four or five. Woo! Shit! I wanted to find somebody to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm good. I'm glad it happened at two o'clock and hardly anybody was on the road at that moment. Mm. Hey y'all, hey, but like I said, just I don't know what happened to that. All right, because that shit was crazy. Yes. Get off the fucking phone when you drive. But I got no love for y'all. If you got a DUI, I got no love for you. <laughs> you you deserve that shit. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know the, I know the. You, know, you know somebody's perfect when you see it. Uh huh. I know that shit. I'm a master at that shit. I be rolling up blunts, ro- rubbing on that ass and all that shit. I still be getting it done. Okay. Oh Stop. If you can't handle driving on your phone, get off it. I saw one girl do her makeup while she was driving. Well, you know women multitask anyway, so that's probably nothing. That's their problem. They can't. Ooh. Okay. Next story. All right. This might affect you, AJ. Let me know if you if, if this is a problem. Uh, soon you can you could see new signs posted at at Fairfax County intersections. They won't have anything to do where you can't drive how fast or allowed to go. Instead, they're aimed at cutting down on panhandling. Mm. And Fairfax, though, one of the richest uh, yeah, nation, uh, counties, counties in the, the nation. In, in the nation, there are a few. Uh, reasons for it. One, police complaints are on the rise. So people complaining is on the rise. You know, those white girls, white people. Uh, uh, intersection Betty. Most importantly, lawmakers are concerned about safety. While lawmakers are previously talked about banning panhandling altogether, generally speaking, asking for money is protected free speech. So now there's support for signs to ask drivers not to hand over money but also include a phone number panhandlers can turn to for help. What the fuck? You give somebody, you know, poor person that 1 800 number, they slap that shit out your hand. I actually think it's a good idea. Resident Doug Wood said Wednesday, it's dangerous when they're out there, right there, right in the middle of intersections. Shut the fuck up. Hmm. Residents Carl Pinkerton felt differently, saying, what's wrong with helping people? That's what's wrong with the world now. Not enough people in the world willing to help each other. Before the signs are put up, the fair, the, the full Fairfax County Board of Supervisors would have to vote on the measure. Well. AJ, how you feel about that, boy? Indifferent. Hey, indifferent why? Uh, I just do, man. Like, I, you know how I already feel about shit like this. You ever, had, you ever gave? You, I don't think you're very generous when it comes to... Helping out others. You can help out others, but at the same time, help, not take care. There's a difference. I'm not taking care of no fucking body. If you need a little something, something, I got you. Like, if you're like, hey, look, man, I just need a few dollars to get me over. I get paid this week, and then I get this job, and I'm doing this. Can you help me? Absolutely. But if you're like, yeah, I'm going over here to, to Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need about four, five hundred for you to help me out. No. Oh, set up a GoFundMe for that shit. No. Yeah, no, nigga. No, nah, nah. So I'm done. That's dead. No, fuck that. Oh, so I, yeah, the other day somebody asked me twice at the gas station, like if I had some money. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you sure you ain't got nothing, brother? Uh, nah, bro, I don't even got my car. I mean, I don't got my, I don't got no cash, brother. God damn. It's but it's rough out there. It's rough out there. And then the, you already know how I feel about white homeless people. You don't. I, I just, I just. Put you look at like the the skin. I just put up to the curve. Listen to Turn Up My Public Enemy. Elvis was a hero to most, but he never meant shit to me. You're straight up racist. I just say 400 years. Yeah, 400 years. Yeah, you did. I'm not giving you shit. Not even that. He still has years. It's like, dog, you, uh, you still have the, have the advantage. Right. So. You seen Spanish homeless people? No. They they pull up on you with a picture of a, a, a disabled or a... Oh like yeah, he life yeah. Support. and he be sitting there with his leg out like this. Yeah, <laughs> he on life support or something. He just go oh. ask me. It's a long way, and then I don't know that. Sh- I said no, no, no say, no say, no yeah. say, no, I no, 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 huh? puedo, no puedo. I can't help you. No, but you know that's just how and, stupid people. And are. then uh, you know, in the gas stations in the hood, <sighs> you're afraid. To, you ever been afraid to walk up in there? You're afraid. Of your All the time, I'll be like, let me get, let me get eight dollars. Ain't no idea if I got to travel a fit, uh, fifty minute drive. No, nah, it be people outside. Outside asking, they they wait for people to come up. Exactly. On that note, yeah. Go ahead. Tell them the next thing. So it's never. Funny. I, I'll give no fucks about white homeless people. Okay. <laughs> no fucks. You say four hundred years. Okay. I'm gonna play my public enemy on your ass. You like? How come they never kill homeless white man? That's what you think. Mm. <laughs> and, and and also, I'm I'm seeing a lot of 
homeless couples, but a lot of uh, white girl, black dude, poor couples. I saw a couple when I was in Georgetown on M Street. Let them live. They were, they were going through their trash, going through the trash and shit, and telling me I got nice shoes. Uh, 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 they ain't gonna rob you, man. Let them be. We went to the uh, for your mom's concert. Yeah, let them be. They going through the trash. Say they told my wife, "You got nice shoes." Let them and then be. And the girl was just standing there and shit. Huh? Let them be. Let them be. Let them be. Nah. All right. Yeah. So homeless people in Fairfax. That's your people in Fairfax. Yeah. All right. Next one we're gonna talk about is the metro. They just wilding out in the metro nowadays. Oh boy. Boy. I, AJ, you want to read the uh, the new one? Sure, sure. Let me read that one. Let me read. Hold on. The man spoke to Fox 5 about oh, the ordeal. Oh, here we go. Video captured by a witness and obtained exclusively on Fox 5 uh, shows a man attacked by a group of teens and pushed onto uh, the metro tracks last Friday. Woo! The man who spoke to Fox 5 about the ordeal, which he says almost cost him his life, and broke his kneecap. Ouch. He is now out of work until the injury uh, heals. The man who asked to be identified said the attack began when the team slapped him randomly on the train. Headed, Damn. Headed toward the gallery place. He got off at the Navy Yard stop and tried to uh, what, tried to identify uh, the teen uh, who assaulted him. And that is when a, a nearly half a dozen teens attacked, Happy shoving him into shit. the tracks. I don't even want to read no more about that. <laughs> like, these teens are out of control. But the funny thing is, once they get their ass whooped or a grown man puts them in their place, then all of a sudden they're kids again. I don't like that. Like, that's cruel. That's really cruel. You shouldn't do that to anybody. Right. And jumping people is the most bitch move to me anyway. But this is happen happening more often. Yeah, I know. Especially and, and, in the metro, the red but line. What, what's going to happen is... Is that these people are gonna fight back and fuck these kids up? Then the parents are gonna come out there screaming. They're just a child. Exactly. No, fuck no. that. Where was you at? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You wasn't at work. I don't want to hear shit. Right. So you gotta just. Some of these teens need to know you cannot just roll up on anybody. It's not how it works. Remember, I, I showed you the video of the kids in Baltimore. They were running down the harbor, running down the harbor, hitting people, yeah. robbing people. So it feel I feels like white people, white kids, they shoot up schools. Yeah. Black kids, they just jump you or they rob you. And hey, either I don't want to. I'm not afraid of. Whenever I see a bunch of kids, teenagers walking down the street, I fucking hold my fucking pearls too. I don't care if it's white kids or black kids. Yeah, you just don't know. This generation is very wild. They wilding out. Yeah, but what can you do? Is that what Jay Z was talking about? The the <laughs> Is that what Jay-Z was talking about, the fathers? It's about what a lot of people were talking about, man. And not just Jay. A lot of rappers predict this shit. Man, uh, what Jay said about how uh, black kids, without their fathers, they grow up angry and they say, fuck the police. I mean, is uh, that what they doing? No, some Jay, of it's, Jay got, Jay's on the something. Some of it is true. Some of it is true. Because they, the man in the house, so they have an entitlement complex where when someone else, especially male, that says something, like, you ain't got to talk to me. Oh, so you agree with Jay? Not all of it, but I hear what he's saying. Mm. Hey, and then imagine seeing those kids. I'd be on the train, and I'd be seeing those kids walking through the, the, the doors while the car, while the metro be going. Yeah. I know they crazy. If anybody, see, if anybody ride the fucking train, they going through the doors while the train is moving, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, get y'all. Y'all kids, y'all need to go. I don't know. Yeah, Play some 2K. Yeah, before they get hurt out here. Y'all shouldn't be in the fucking streets nowadays. It's right. not the same. It's not. It's it, not the same how it was. The game ain't what it used to be. I mean, of course it's still the same, but obviously motherfuckers can't follow it. Right. Because that shit is crazy. Man, man, man. All right. Let's get to the other Ish Talk news. <laughs> All right. This one hits home too, y'all. Oh, boy. All right, Arlington Parks and Recreation employee accused Damn it, Modelo, of <laughs> molesting a a girl, a minor, a minor. Sick ass people, man. It's just like, what is going on? Like, what goes through your head when you you gotta think before you act? 
Especially with children. She's I'm like, bro, we know you. We know you. We he grew up with us. Yeah, but that ain't the first time. We Arthur, saw him. But that ain't the first time Ronson had to cover up, some, like not cover up, but had to get rid of somebody else's shit. There was another guy who used to work at Love and Run that I knew that was on that Bama shit. They don't even, they took his pictures. That is like everything about him. Only way you know he exists was a whisper. <laughs> what? Like they can't help themselves? It's a fucking. It's kids, bro. You, I, but those people are like that. That's just. Some, that's All just right. how some let's see how it goes. Uh, Arlington County are trying to find possible additional victims of Walter Contreras, a 42-year-old Arlington resident, after police say he followed the girl into a room at Barcroft Recreational Center and touched her sexually. Damn. Come here. <sighs> come, come here. Come. No, it's not even... The incident happened in late August but was reported to police earlier this week. Police said Contreras has been charged with aggravated sexual battery, a, fel a felony punishable by up to 20 years in prison. I mean, and On it's... September 10th, 2019, Arlington County received a late report of possible sexual assault that occurred at Barcroft Recreational Center. All right, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the no, the, yeah, the I mean, investigation it's... determined that the suspect who was working for the county and recreation employee at the time of the incident asked the juvenile female victim to accompany him to one of the rooms inside the recreational center. Damn, he wanted to put touch her in the janitorial room. Once there, the suspect approached person. the victim from behind and approached her. Damn. He's just a sick individual. And unfortunately, you know, that's what happens. I mean, I'm glad he did get caught so he can't cause any more harm because we don't know who else he did this to. I hope he didn't do it to anybody else. But, you know, besides that, man, like, he's 14. Why are you following a 14-year-old to the bathroom? He was a boy? A 14-year-old. I don't know who. Oh. Either way, you could have gotten a supervisor or somebody. <laughs> Hey, when you get when you get more than ten years in a in a county job, you get too comfortable. That's all I got to say. Yeah, that's just who he was. You, and you get too comfortable. You get a county job. You think everything good. Come on, bro. Yep. Until the kids were swimming. Right, and then and, and nothing worse than when you at work and detectives or whoever come to your office or your manager gets you step into my office, please. You go. Oh shit. I thought it was worse when the, when you get the credit people call your job, but. Motherfuckers, they quote. Yeah, no, when the detectives or your boss says, I need to speak to you, or if they message you, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Especially when they catch you off, off guard, when you think you're clear. You're like, yeah, I'm good now. Come to my office. Come to my office. Shit. Okay, uh, before, you, before you clock in, come to my mm. office. Shit. <laughs> Anybody tell you before you clock in, you, 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 you clock out. You dip out. Yeah, you got to dip out. You got to go. Yeah, let me go to the bathroom. All right, y'all. Yeah, leave them people alone. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a video breakdown in a second for a boogie. What's his name? A boogie hoodie. A boogie hoodie. Yeah. Do you know? Is he from VA? I I can't remember. I don't recall. All right. Do you know any of his music? I've heard a little bit of it, but I don't know. I, I never know the names, honestly. Okay. Well, he got this new one. I, I think it's like Halloween themed. Yeah. Uh, it's called uh. Creepers or something? Well, let me take a look. Let me see. Uh, a Boogie in the Hoodie. Uh, before we go to it, make sure you guys give us a like and a heart. And a subscribe. And a subscribe. That's right. And uh, we love you guys. No, we you guys for I appreciate you. We always the show. appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank right. That's right. That's right. Take your time out. We're going to get rid of this molester. Exactly. Modelo, get out of uh -huh. here. <laughs> Modelo, get out of here. Exactly. All right. This is A Boogie in the Hoodie. It's called Mood Swings. And we're going to do a little uh, video breakdown. Breakdown. We're going to dissect this shit. Do you mind, AJ? I do not mind. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Go ahead and make this so we can see. All right. Put this over here. All right. You got the you got the Raven. Eyes, Mortal Kombat. 
You got the west side. What do you think so far? I think he looked like Caesar from Planet of the Apes, but wow! I feel like it's he got the he got the camo, got the military. Got the I mean, it's, t it's typical shit. I mean, he'll fit right in, huh? He gonna fit right in. All right, let's keep going. So, a so far, he looked like Mike from The Wire, huh? He looked like the dude Mike from The Wire. Okay, let, 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 let's break this down. What's going on right here? Mm -hmm. he, he's know. getting played. He, he's getting. He's brown. a Pinocchio. He's getting sugar. played by the woman. Brown sugar, though. I don't care. <laughs> Said, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, okay. So he cut off the strings. So he's no longer attached to the female. He wasn't attached he's to free. the bullshit. He, he was free. free. He's, he's he was so cooked on the pussy. Okay. All right. I thought, I thought he was tired of talking about Percocet. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, he's back in the warehouse. Straight. I was straight. Anything you see, anything wrong about it? No, he, I'm, 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 I'm rocking. I'm, I'm happy he's rocking that '90s uh yellow shit though, like the '90s yellow hoodies, mm. you know, the jackets. I mean, you weren't fucking with that back then. That's the banana boat joint. <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to Banana him. Republic. All right. Shout out to him. All right. All right. Let's go to one of our topics because I feel like it's been uh, a lot of men. We get a grief because we date women that right we almost get to, yeah it, like it's like getting to that like i said get to that super bowl and then someone the receiver wants to be the hero instead of you and he fucks up the route and he throws a pick six at the one yard line at that if y'all don't know what we talking about if you guys are following this guy named p from quality control he's Going through some shit because he got one, you know, Laura Galora. Laura, 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 he was yeah. fucking with her. Weren't you talking about her? Yeah. She, how she was a girl of the dreams, but he got he got her pregnant. He ain't even fucking. He ain't worried about her. You see how he got it? He got that bag, man. So he getting a lot of hate on Twitter. So and black women saying how he's so unattractive and he ain't shit. But if a black man say uh, how a, a woman, a look, woman of, of of dark color is a certain uh, type. And you see the dude got a, he got he. Yeah, I mean, but of course, I mean, women, there are a lot of other women out there saying, too, like, hey, he got money, so it is what it is. So, so they said his brother, Pee Wee, is a heavy uh, melanated person, and then females, and then he, this is what he's pulling now, a Spanish one. This is recently. So? So? I mean, just sounds like to me there's some bitter people out there who wish they could have had a baby by that nigga. That's what it is. At the end of the day, you just wish you had a baby by him so you could be taken care of. But you see how women turn into Helen Keller? 
You see how they do that for we money? Are, we don't even know what to expect out of that. Like, that's why I don't even trip off. I go, you know what? I know how you're going to react. It don't matter. It, it, because it's a woman. She, if she gets more dis, dis, mistreated, that's bad for everybody. See, for the men, it's just, well, you'll be all right. Tough it up. Tough it up. If we date somebody, I don't really see that often. Like, a dude would date a chick... A, a ugly, a pretty dude would not date an ugly girl. You think that's true for money? It's Have just, you seen that recently? Just, I, when no, I, when I'm I around, say this. Yeah, I see a, I see an ugly dude with an ugly trick, a trick, but she got good, good credit. Well, here's the thing: dudes like that, a dude who gets with an ugly chick, if he feels, I mean, not ugly, but less attractive, is to me, it's usually an angle. She's doing something for him. She's paying for something. She's doing something that gives him an ego. So you think that's what the same thing with the the uh, uh, P and the, the, nah, the he's got nah, nah. Because that's what they. I just think it's like he just, he just has the money. But if he's willing to do it, then who gives a fuck? And then who gives a fuck? People just hating. Like certain women out there is like, oh, okay, you just mad it wasn't your turn. <laughs> that's all, men. Stop hating. Whatever. We already knew this. You ain't got that money. She's not gonna give you no attention. You know this already. Deal with the shit. Go after someone who likes you for more than your money. Mm. So that means she ain't going to have a slim waist, thick ass all the time. So for men out there, hold yourself accountable. Don't let this upset you. Whatever. She wasn't for you. It's not your turn. Right. When, well, when is it? A lot of niggas, like, they want they want to know when is their turn. They're watching these videos. Unfortunately, they want the fattest ass. When it comes to them, they'll know. But at the same time, if you keep chasing it, you know better. <sighs> I know plenty of chase dudes. your chase your checks. Uh, no, nah, a lot of dudes be chasing women. Yeah, I mean because they don't know any better. Like you can check, you can pursue, but chase two totally two different things. Pursuing someone, she wants to be eventually caught, and she wants to establish a foundation where you guys talk. My fucking like my fucking attention is like when you chase, you're not going anywhere. That's just you are catering to her ego. And she has no use for you until next week if she feels down. Then she might think about considering you to hang out with her again. That's just how it be. That's how it be. Pretty dudes don't stay with ugly chicks. And men, we are visual. Yes. We are very visual. We can't go blind like y'all do for money. It's just not the same. Nope. I just want to make that analysis it's because not. P is a very... Whatever. Good for him. Yeah, good for P. Good for P. Good, good for, for P. P. Whatever. But I'm just saying, if he was working at Subway, he wouldn't be getting that. I mean, it is and what it is. It is what it is. Whatever. It is what it is. Don't care. Y'all better stop with that hate. Leave him alone. All right? There you go. Let, Let him, him make the moves. He got bread. You just mad that you ain't got it. Exactly. Okay? All that hate. Exactly. All magically comes into play. Why not here? Whatever. Huh? Do you? Everybody mad at. What about Jeezy? You, you, uh, you see Jeezy with the Asian girl. A lot of people, a lot of women mad at that. Whatever. Shit. A lot of these sisters didn't want these niggas until they found out they were rappers and they were hood. They had hood perception, so I don't want to hear that shit. Right. Okay, let's get to uh, shit I see on my timeline. Let's do this. Shit I see on my timeline is a bunch of memes and videos. We want your opinion on. Okay. So this first one is goes out to rest in peace. Yes, R.I.P. R.I.P. I, I didn't. Uh, I never seen her work. Me neither. But hey. But apparently, uh, apparently she's a good soul. Apparently so. she got a good soul. Uh, adult film star Jessica James did at forty three. What happened? Mm. Uh, earlier that afternoon, a friend had arrived at the house to check up on James after not hearing from her in a while and found her unconscious. Authorities then received a, a cardiac arrest call with the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office now investigating the death. According to separate uh, report from the blast, the friend question was James' ex-husband. Oh, the report also lists the death as being classified as natural. All right, well, I didn't get to see your work, baby, but- uh, Rest in peace. 21 nut salute. 21 nut salute. Poof. Well, you know, condol Poof. condolences to your family. Poof. Poof. 21 nut salute. Go to the next one. Poof. Go to the next one, nigga. Poof. Go to the next one. Poof. All right. 
Just want to say that. Yeah, there you go. All right. Next shit I see in my timeline. Did you see that video with the girl in the kitchen? <laughs> yes. The shit blew up. Yes. What uh, the fuck? Easy bake oven. Easy bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> easy bake oven girl. Yes. What the fuck were they making, I bro? Have, I have no clue, man. Uh, they making some uh, some shitlets? Some... I don't know what that was. That shit was just crazy. Was it? Was it? Must have been like a propane tank or something that exploded. I would think so. Uh, but either way, oof, not a good look. It's not a good look because to one one of them ugh, did a three hundred and sixty. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Huh? She was crazy. Exactly, man. She went <laughs> and then just went woo. Got back up though. She got back up. They, so shout out to them to get back up. That I don't know if they got a concussion or something because yeah, they got something. They got something, and we gonna hope they this this thing, this wasn't even hope he's all right. But all right, let's see it. Here we go. Woo! Ow! Oh. Luckily though, it didn't blow up, blow up like where you know. Only thing that hurt was just. The and thing. then you can see other ghetto. Uh, installations because what is this? What was that? What are they making with the water? See all that? Yeah. Where is that going? And then this is how you do it: making ghetto souffle. <laughs> Damn, baby girl, they got to call the maintenance man. You know, yeah, that shit gonna cost. They, they gonna that that's so they were doing some shit they wasn't supposed to be doing. Okay. Oh well. Cut that shit out. Stop. Stop that shit. And then next shit I see on my timeline was it was this video of first I thought it was a back to school uh commercial, but the shit got oh, me. Yeah. You saw that one too? I did. Got the girl crying. I'm like, what baby girl, what? So basically it was like can you break it down for them? They were just basically talking about the society, the way that school is now, how children, instead of learning about education through school, they got to learn about the education of gun violence and what happens. This is basically a satire commercial. I got my book bag. This is what it works. I got my binder. This is how that works. I got my skateboard. This is how it works. And that's a sad thing. But look where it's come from. Sandy Brook, I mean, what do you want them to Sandy say? Sandy Hook, yeah. Sandy, what do you want them to say? So, you know, that's just... That, that shit was real. Yeah, it was just real. It was just, they were telling how it is. So, you just gotta... We gotta change that. Bro, when I was... We wasn't worried about that shit in high school. We weren't. We were just, that's why we gotta... Yeah, we gotta get back to that point. Hey, but we actually, were, remember back a long time ago, they used to have these drills where you had to hide... Uh, like, you had to sit on right. the wall. But that was for that's anything. That was for a nuke but that, was, but that was for any fucking thing. Not nobody just... Was that for a nuke? Nukes, uh, wars, and all that shit. But they got kids, and then you know, in uh, Old Navy or some clothing company, they got these the new line out where they got the bullet holes in the clothes, but it's targeted to teenagers. Ain't that crazy? It's it's a crazy world we live in. They just making this shit look look normal, but it's it's not supposed to be. But you know, whatever. Right, 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 man. All right, so. Moving on from shit I see on my time, let's itch talk TV. Let's do Make this. sure you guys leave a like and a heart, and we get back with you on that one. And we will be doing more. Actually, AJ's doing a football, Buc yeah, football Bucks podcast. You know, we're going to be getting those on Sundays. We're going to be uploading that real soon. Just, you know, give you little opinions on sports, get a little sports talk, let you know how the ish is on that. I'm a Buccaneers fan, Tampa Bay 813. Yo, the All day. All right. Now, moving on to this Jay Morrison guy. Oh if you guys are not familiar with Jay Morrison, but he was actually at that Revolt conference, which was very cool. You know, shout out to Diddy on that one. Uh, I wish it, it could have it been done differently. But Jay went up there and he spoke and talking about how the reason why black people don't have reparations is because we don't have a nationality, we don't have a flag, we don't have any other shit, which is out, which is not true. But let's see what he say. And uh, he and he was going against, he was going at ADUS people. Oh, the total real estate funds. Mm -hmm. He was saying how 
Uh, we need a flag and how we need to all these Moors and Hebrew lights we need to come together on one flag and basically it's just the, we want to get at the conscious community because some of the things we doing is just nonsense nigga babble we're worried about <laughs> nigga babble like we're worried about like shit like Hebrews and what we did motherfucker reparations is slavery and then Jim Crow red Lining and all in today's that. society. In today's society, we're not worried about who made the pyramids. No, yeah, and at this time, I mean, of course, learn your history, but right now, that's not important. They're not here. We are. Let's make it a better generation. It's just, yeah, it's just waste, wasteful time talking about that shit. Yes. So take action, take action, and all that Hebrew lights and all that uh, Moors uh, sovereignty. That's more uh, ideology. Our Reparations is more of any We're life. not, Can we do we're that? not talking about uh, who's God you serve. We're we'll not talking about Muslims, Moors. We're talking about lineage. Were you here to get the reparations? Were your family the sinners of slaves, child slavery? I told you that that ain't happening. Reparations? That shit ain't happening. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold my breath for that. You know what? Well, and one of the things Jay's saying is how black people. I do believe he got a lot of backlash because people were going at him, but he was saying how we not we shouldn't be waiting around for we should be working. He has a thing called Tulsa Real Estate Fund where he's. He's getting money. Basically, he talks about. He goes on Instagram, talk about how much money he makes and how much he bought yeah, and all that shit. Yeah. He reminds me of one of those dudes that be talking your head off so much they want you to believe. He's just running game on you. You ever seen dudes like that? A lot talking game. And then, yeah, and then he has some history. He get, he did get locked up. He's a felon. And I'm not. I'm not. I love felons. Y'all y'all good with me. <laughs> Okay, but if you a felon and you want to talk about having moving people's money and you you want you talking about black black Wall Street and he apparently he's not really he's half he's Caribbean or something like that so he doesn't really understand what the fuck was going on with us but how do you feel about black people being are you on J side saying how black people need to pull pull themselves by the bootstraps? We want to bring this to you. I'm on. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Day. I'm on both. Of course, day, black people gotta hold themselves accountable. But at the same time, the, the system white America that they, the system they institutionalize on us, they have to hold themselves accountable as well. So it's a 50-50. Nothing is never clear cut where it's like one person did this. No, it's literally just everybody's involved. So it's it's our duty to try to make things right. Yeah, and the one thing about the ADUS move, movement is there is no leader. And Jay was just saying how he gonna take over the shit. He gonna be the leader. And like, bro, like, yeah, it's I'll, not, see, I'll see that when I. It's not it. like that, bro. It's nah. not like that. Yeah, I'll see that shit when I believe it. So all the all y'all niggas with the all y'all community or conscious community you got all y'all egos. Just move that shit to the side. He just know that uh, Umar. So let that shit slide, y'all. All right, let that shit slide. We don't need that shit in our hood. Okay. All right, now let's move on to uh, Cheeks of the Week. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey, keep your blood flowing. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a break. Uh-oh. Hey, everybody over there. Thank you for still checking us out. We appreciate you. Hey, you you ain't jugging. Bullshit. Hey, it's on the track. This is that play around, play on the beat like a motherfucking playground. This is that play around, bitch, play on the dick like a motherfucking playground. This is that play around, play on the beat like a motherfucking playground. This nigga ain't playing around, come shoot up your block, have a crack, and go run it down. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Fuck all the fizz in the streets, I still fuck it up. Niggas is sick of this bitch, I am fucking up. Sucking my dick, little niggas stop bugging. I understand that your bitch, you love me. Send her right back as soon as I'm done with her. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Just fuck it up, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. We are back, Ish Talk TV, the realest show in the DMV. Thank you guys for tuning in. Also, uh, make sure you guys go check out Sweet. She has a show coming up. Uh, I said I was going to shout you out, girl. Uh, where is it? All right. We got something to say, Comedy Jam. It's going to be hosted by G. Dot the Great. Yes, sir. At LG Lounge, 
15th Street Northwest. Uh, it's going to be Saturday to the 21st, 7 p.m. to 10. Sweet's going to be there. All the other comedians going to be in that shit. L8 Lounge. Okay. It, there it is. The 21st. There it is. All right. Let's go to Cheeks of the Week. AJ. <laughs> AJ, how, how, how's this how's this week, man? Did you put something good in this I'm week, I'm going to let you take a look at it. I'm All right. not saying anything. All right. Let's I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. What you doing at the Netflix? God, that is like one of the most perfect buys I've ever seen. That's like, that's a, what would you give it? One to 10? Uh, I will get out of 11, but Solid. this is right here. I don't know if that's real. That ass, now that ass is real because their titties don't match. Yeah, like like when their titties are small, that ass is big. Yeah, that's not. Is, that, is, is she in some garage or something? Is that a garage? I, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, you know me. I wish like there was a wind drift that came by and it just went. Now, now that's, that's too tight, man. That was like. Mm -hmm. Now, this right here, boy. She full of shit. She ain't full, she of, full shit. of shit. No, she ain't. She full of shit thinking she going to do some track. No, she ain't. She running. Running. That's why. Have you ever seen fat chicks run, uh, uh, fatties she, run? I don't think she, but she girls ain't. with fat asses, they can't run yeah, fast. Bro. She can run. I don't know what the fuck she doing. Nah, I hope she can't run fast so I can chase her. You ever seen a fat, a fat chick a run? Thick, a, a thick, thick chick. Nah, yep. I, 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 it doesn't exist. It, well, it's like a she, unicorn. Hey, she broke the mold. She, you know what I'm saying? That is oh. the anomaly. Yeah, that's how I feel. All three of those could have got that right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the show. Uh, it's your boy B Moore, aka Princess Amunda. AJ Turnup, aka Buff Curry. Thank you for thank you very much, y'all. Hope y'all had a good time for the most entertaining show in the DMV. <laughs> <laughs>